here on the Gulf Coast of Florida, we really enjoy uh, all these natural resources. And I'm going to show you today um, how to dress a mullet for smoking and, uh, and a couple of other ways. So uh, what I want to show you now is I've, we've just caught a few mullet with our cast nets right here off the coast of Wakulla County. And I'm just going to uh, share some of my um, skills with you on cleaning these fish. Well, right now I'm just getting my, getting my knife. This is a Dexter Russell knife. It's a four and a half inch blade. It's real good for uh, filleting mullet with and just a, a diamond stone here. And uh, what I'm going to show you first today is uh, how I would clean a mullet if I was going to going to smoke it. Smoke mullet's very good and uh, you like, I like to leave the collarbone in a smoke mullet so I'm going to take and just cut right behind his head his collarbone, pop it back like that, just like that, and you leave that collar right there in, in him. And also I'm going to go and take his anal fin out. And when you clean a fish for smoking, you're going to want to come all the way, all the way through that, the top of the backbone, all the way back. But don't cut all the way through this skin right here. Leave it attached. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and open this mullet up. I'm going to take away all the... And when you leave those gills in there for smoking, you, you have a lot of extra things to take out here. But it's well worth it. The flavor's excellent. And so what I'm going to do now is come on the other side to take this backbone out and start right above the tail here. Just take... Take the, the fillet of meat away. So if you were gonna, so this this mullet is cleaned uh, um, in, in a manner that you would want to smoke it in because the tail is still attached here to save room, and you can alternate them on your grill. Um, the backbone is totally out, and your belly bones are all intact here, and the collar bone is still in. Now the uh, the next method I'm going to clean a fish in is just going to be uh, boneless, skinless. I'm going to go ahead and take the anal fin out first. And I'm going to go and just cut right, up, right behind this fin here on each side and just go and take the head off. Now you noticed I cut both sides and then popped the head off like this. I didn't want to dull my knife because you have to sharpen it a lot more if you cut right on through that backbone. So then I'm going to take in the same manner with, uh, with this back facing me to the right. I'm going to take and run my hand, right, run the knife right along the back and I'm going to separate it right there and I'm going to scrape away the guts. And then I have right here, and I'm going to go ahead and take and cut the, the, the breastbone out just like that. So now you have a, a, a boneless, and I'm just going to be skinless in just a few moments. Come over on the other side, take it just like that, and I'm going to take and cut the, the bones out of the belly. And remember, there's one little bone up here in the top. Make sure you leave about a half inch of the tip on there. Cut it just like that. And then you can save the backbones. These uh, fry up very well, too. So then what I'm going to do is take, and I'm, I may sharpen my knife up again if it's getting a little bit duller for this action. But I'm just going to take and just cut right along the skin, kind of pull the, kind of pull the skin to me and separate the skin from the meat just like that. And I'm going to do the second fillet the same way. Just take and put my finger down and just come right through. And you can see it takes all the skin off the back. That's a boneless, skin, skinless fillet of mullet. My family enjoys it with the, uh, <laughs> with the bones out of it. Thank you for joining us today for our uh, mullet cleaning session for how to blacken them, how to smoke them, and how to fry them. And if you haven't seen our session on uh, throwing your cast net uh, by the thirds method, um, take a look at that uh, video. And also, we're going to have a mullet cooking session uh, coming up next uh, on how to fry and how to blacken mullet. And if you haven't uh, came down to the Gulf Coast of Florida and just enjoyed this beautiful resource here, I encourage you to come on down and uh, bring your gear with you, bring your cast net, bring your tools, your frying pot, and come on down and enjoy Wakulla County.